There's a lady asleep in the water. She's neither mermaid nor magic, neither myth nor manic. She simply is caught between time and space, between reason and whether her place is right or wrong. But none of this concerns our lady. She's asleep but beeping, alive but fleeting, machines pumping blood to the two heartbeats that are forced to flee from forever sleep. They are forced from peace. They are forced to be between you and me. I'm not comfortable thinking that life needs to be forced because she is suspended between planes of reality. There are those that question whether her life force is her own force or if she is forced to survive. Regardless of her own choices she had legally made that said, this choice is mine. Woo! What do we know of force? We know that we should be a force to be reckoned with. We say, may the force be with you. We know the power of the force of habit. We can force off force, on force, in and force out of. We can be in force, join forces, or be the driving force. We know peace cannot be forced to be kept, that we were not designed to be forced. And it's been said that we master nature not by force, but by understanding. So help me understand why Texas was relentless in its quest to not end the suffering of Marlies Muniz and her family. Can we take a second to imagine a partner in shambles, and you tied up in legal battles because the rights of your unborn fetus are taken over the rights of your brain-dead wife, and instead of a woman, she is now a vessel. Your missus is missing an odyssey, and her wishes are viciously twisted. Now realize that because you, as partner, want to honor her choice, and you now have to battle for her right to die, a death you've already accepted because her brain has already rejected the gift of life all because of a law that values what has yet to come over what has already passed. Now understand, I am not arguing semantics over pro-life or pro-choice. It's not a game to get the most votes, votes to have a side win. The truth is, there are no big victories. There is not a celebration when Marlies wins. There's only peace in her decision. There's only respect for the life she was given. And there's only pain left after the doctors listened and pulled the plug. When a conscious, mature, responsible decision is overlooked for generalized, mandatory laws based on misogynistic bureaucracies, we teach future generations to think less and obey more without question. We leave a legacy that we value a forced life over a life force.